Jade's look super impressive. It's a split on the pole, but it's not a beginner move. But don't worry, even if you don't get it right away, I'm going to teach you some prep work that you can do that's going to get you prepared for your jade splits and you'll have it in no time. So for our jade split, one thing that you need to have is an outside leg hang. So we're going to do some outside leg hang prep on the floor. So let's go down. So for this one, you want to have the pole positioned about midways. So about here. In the soft, squishy part of your waist. What's gonna happen is I'm gonna tuck my tailbone under, I'm gonna straddle my legs, and my outside leg, the one that's away from the pole, is gonna hook on the pole and bend. From there, I'll extend my inside leg, the leg that's closest to the pole. So let, let's go over that. So it's gonna look like this. So the second part, the leg that is extended is going to sweep around and your outside hand is going to reach for your leg and you're going to pull it towards your face. So you can grab over or under depending on what feels better for you. I've seen people do it both ways, so I guess you can kind of choose that on your own. But let's see what it looks like. and then you come down. Let's do it on the other side where I have a little bit more space to show you. Hook. From here, outside leg is gonna sweep around and my hand is gonna reach for this. Come into my pike. And then I'll lower that leg. Come into my pike and come down. So you can practice this a few times and then we'll take it up. So again, this is a move that you wanna do with some type of safety precaution. So grab a mat before you do this one. All right, let's try it on the pole. A trick to help you get super flat, the leg that's coming out, look for the heel. It's harder when you don't have on shoes, but when you have on shoes, you wanna look for your heel. When you find your heel, you're pretty much flat. When people do the J split, some people keep a support hand underneath their butt. Some people do it without the hand. So I'm gonna show you both ways. Okay, let's try it from a climb and then try it on spin. So as you may notice, when I did it on spin, I did it from a reverse climb. That was just a little bit easier, but you don't have to do it that way. Um, yeah, drop down, let me know some other things that you want to learn, and I will see you for the next one.